Hey, what's up guys? Totally Dubbed here, and today I'm doing a video review on the AOC E1759 FWU. Now this is a small factor uh, monitor, it's only 17 inch, it can be found for around £108 on Amazon.co.uk and $225 on Amazon.com. Links will be in the description below. In terms of the specs, it's running 1600 times 900 at, 600, um, at 60 hertz. It has a 10 milliseconds response time, 17 inch uh, with an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. Not really mind blowing specs, and I'll link this in the description below as well. But it's a small factor monitor that's really intended for a certain market. I'll get into that in just a second. Now, what I want to mention is a couple of things before actually getting into my thoughts and opinions of it is that when you get this monitor you're gonna have to install drivers now you might think oh what are you telling me this for this is obvious uh, that you're gonna need to well it's not so much so simply because normally I never use the driver disk because I never have to in this respect with two different computers I had to install the drivers from the CD now you could get them probably online if I'm not mistaken there probably be a download section and you can find them but I'm saying this simply because if you plug this monitor in straight away and say oh it's not working what's going on I'm gonna return the monitor well no make sure you install the drivers very simple to say but it might be often overlooked then I also want to mention that it actually comes with this nice little pouch. Now this is not normal for a monitor to actually come with like a portable pouch, but it does. The pouch itself is quite nice, it feels quite cool and it's got a nice AOC branding on it as well. It's pretty soft, it's, therefore it's not hard and it's not going to um, affect it from knocks. You know, if you drop it then it's not going to save your monitor, but it's also good just to put it in, I don't know, some sort of carrying case or um, a suitcase of some sort. Now as you, as you probably gathered, AOC are really intending this for someone who's going to be taking a monitor on the go. And that's exactly what it's designed for. It's not really designed for a, a monitor that's going to be sitting down like a monitor in the background um, to be used as a primary display. By all means it could be, but I'll be explaining why I don't think it'll be as a primary display and more so why AOC have chosen to go for this part of the market. So first, I'm going to jump into the build quality. Now the build quality of the AOC is decent. It's got a plastic uh, construction which is there simply because of its weight. It's a very lightweight monitor and the reason they've made this is simply because it's a portable monitor and therefore carrying it around is very easy. So the construction at the black is all plastic and it's a very much a fingerprint magnet. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but there's all fingerprints all over the place. So bear that in mind that if you're going to present this monitor somewhere, make sure you give it a nice clean before you show anyone, because it's really going to show out. What I really like about the build quality of this uh, monitor is simply because of its stand. The stand is really well thought out. It can be used in a vertical position, like so. And it can be used in a horizontal, or I can almost, could almost not say it there, horizontal position like that. The stand works flawlessly and it's a really nice solid stand. If anything, the heaviest part of this monitor is actually the stand, as it's a nice metal construction. Really good job AOC for that. I really do like it. Now, it is connected by USB. So it's very simple to connect. You just want to connect it up to the... Um, to uh, your PC via a USB. Now, the USB has two leads that come out from it and one of them is to actually power the, the, the monitor itself and the other one is actually to give extra power in case your USB ports don't have enough power. So older generation uh, PCs might not have enough power and therefore the second lead is to give that extra power. Well thought out by AOC, so covering their uh, their whole market, so people who are on older PCs to people on newer PCs and say newer motherboards. So it's great that AOC actually thought about it. One thing I don't think they actually did think about is actually the cable length. Now I have positioned a camera over here that normally I don't know uh, I don't do, but you'll be able to see my PCs there, and the cable stretches out here. I mean, this is really short. I can't quite uh, explain how short that is, but we're talking about maybe 60 to you know, 60 centimeters, maybe, or no, not exactly 60 centimeters, but 60 to 80 centimeters, potentially 90 tops. Um, it is a very short cable. 
Now, this cable, I think, is made because it's going to be portable, so you don't want a huge amount of cable. But I would have liked a slightly longer cable, so at least I could potentially extend this around my desk and put it over here. So a 1.5, uh, I don't know, a 2 meter cable would have been ideal. So it's a little bit of a shame, because obviously, if, they're gonna, if someone's going to be wanting to see this monitor, and you've got, say, a portable PC on you, and you want to just show um, people... Uh, your work or whatever it might be or, that you want to display then you're gonna have to literally move your the laptop with the device uh, all together rather than just stretching out the monitor on one end of the table to the other so it's just a little bit of a flaw there now let's get onto the good stuff the actual display itself now as I mentioned I don't really see this monitor as a primary display and that mainly comes down to the resolution the resolution for me is not really high enough in order to be used as a primary display sure it might be laptops as in uh, 13 inch notebooks um, resolution um, you know give or take but it's still for me not a real primary display I really see it as an extension display furthermore to add to that I felt that the colors were washed out despite the colors being nice um, in, in terms of vivid uh, decently in decent in terms of um, a nice vivid um, and colorful um, representation I do find it to be very um, washed out and a little bit dim you know vivid dim it's not it's pretty much opposites I know I know but what I'm trying to say is that if you look at the display in the background um, and I know that's a 4k display and it's only a 1 4 4 p display, a uh, 1 4 4 p um, uh, wallpaper, but what I'm trying to say is that look at the colors of that and look at the, um, not the detail, but look at the colors of that and look at how it's nice and uh, the colors are well represented, whereas in comparison to this, where it's completely kind of washed out. On top of that, in terms of moving it around, you'll be able to see that the color completely goes at certain angles. It's not a great um, mo monitor to use at different angles. Which leads me on to my conclusion. This monitor is really much uh, a portable monitor that can be used on the go for people who are not going to be super critical about the colors or the representation or the resolution. It's really a here you go look at my I don't know presentation rather than oh look here look at my lovely um, uh, picture which is washed out. Now does that mean that I could really let it off? Not really. I don't think it's a great monitor. I don't think it's it, it, it's super and I think it could have been a bit better as it could have potentially been used as a primary display for laptop users and due to its resolution and its washed out colors I really can't see laptop users actually going out and saying oh I need this uh, as a primary display because why would they? Now you might be thinking at a hundred and something 110 odd pounds why don't you get a normal display? And that is a perfect valid, valid uh, argument. You get around 100, 100, 100 to 115 pounds, a really nice um, uh, IPS uh, display, which looks fantastic. Um, it's really, you know, from any brand uh, out there in the market, from AOC to Philips to LG, Samsung, you name it, all of them have s uh, about 100 pound monitors, which are really, really good. So in this respect, it's just a shame because I know what AOC are doing in terms of aiming it at the portable market, but I don't think there's enough of a market for that. I think that it's a very niche market and I think that it could uh, be utilized a little bit better. So for example, if they had a 1080p display which wasn't so washed out and maybe bumped up the price to say £120, for example, then it would have been much better served because then not only is it a portable display, but it can be also used as a primary display at home. So on that bombshell, guys, I'm going to end the review and say it's a monitor that's really fit for purpose, really niche, it's slightly expensive for what it offers in terms of features, color, and resolution, but people might go for this because it's the first time I've ever seen a monitor that has an actual little pouch so that you can actually take it on the go. Alright guys, I've been uh, totally dubbed. Again, if you want to check these, uh, monitor, uh, these monitors out on Amazon, check in the link in the description below. If you want to like this uh, video, definitely do so. Subscribe, favorite, share, comment, it's all good. Always love to hear your opinions. And yeah, that's about it guys. Take care and enjoy. Bye-bye.